was a big cave. Uh, I think this is one of the biggest tactical defeats for the president that we've seen in his political life. Well, if it isn't that special agent in charge of the fake news over there at CNN, double O dickweed. Here's a guy that sleeps in his suit, ready to jump out of bed at a moment's notice and fight President Trump using fake news. This special agent, double O dickweed, is as sharp as a tennis ball and able to outrun speeding ducks at a moment's notice. Uh, he created this box canyon for himself. Uh Oh, that's rich coming from a guy with way too much yardage in between the goalposts. I will say this about that vacancy in between your ears, Jim Acosta. At least you got a whole lot of room for improvement. Now, I'm in no way insulting Jim Acosta. I'm just describing him. He comes from the cactus family because he surely is a prick. This guy's birth certificate is an apology letter from the condom factory. Uh, Nancy Pelosi let him walk right into it, and now he's uh, trying desperately to see his way out of it. See his way out of it? Well, that's an old A-B conversation joke. No wonder you're failing as a comedian, Jim Acosta. You ain't got no new material. I'll give it, I'll grant you this, Jim Acosta. You are a little bit smarter than Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She's two tacos short of a combination plate. You're only one taco short of a combination plate, but neither one of you are that bright. What do you get when you replace both headlights with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Jim Acosta? Well, you get a ticket for no headlights. After watching on television this morning the havoc uh, that a government shutdown, a protracted government shutdown can wreak uh, on the uh, nation's aviation system with all. Excuse me, double O dickweed. What's wreaking havoc on America's aviation is you flying around in the middle of the night in your tidy whities trying to fight fake crime with fake news. Was you born on a highway? Because that's where most accidents happen, you know. Jim Acosta, at this rate, the only way you're getting laid is to crawl up in a chicken's butt and wait. Was a big cave. Jim Acosta, President Trump didn't cave. Your jockstrap caved because there wasn't anything underneath it to hold it up. Hey, Jim, next time you raid Anderson Cooper's panty drawer, why don't you do a better job, son? You can't fight President Trump with a jockstrap if you ain't got no jock. You're so fake, Barbie's jealous. Can too. But as you heard at the very end of the president's comments there, he said that he is fully uh, capable and prepared to shut down this government again if by February 15th we don't see some sort of agreement to get that wall down on the border with Mexico. Now, Hey, Jim, why don't you slip into something a little bit more comfortable, like a coma? Your mind is on vacation, but your mouth is working overtime, son. Don't you think that if, if Nancy Pelosi, you didn't mention Nancy Pelosi, don't you think she has any blame in this if she or, or any fault in this if she doesn't come to the table by February the 15th with a realistic deal for President Trump to protect the southern border with? Let me tell you something there, Jimmy boy. The last time I saw something like you, I flushed it, son, and I felt like I was a turd of the way there in my mission to fight the fake news. But evidently, a super agent like Double O Dick Weed has developed a knack for crawling out of septic tanks. How'd you develop that knack, son? I guess you're proof that evolution can go in reverse.